Welcome to my channel, SAP Careers and Job Seekers Group. So this channel is all about, all about uh, SAP consultants, SAP world, uh, but SAP having said that, it also deals with different domains. It deals deal with almost 24 industry verticals like airlines, manufacturing, uh, real, real estate, train or rails, right? Pharmaceutical, healthcare, uh, uh, distribution, right? food manufacturing, so on and so forth. So they're like 24 industry verticals. We deal with all of those, right? So, so today I'm going to talk about what is the difference between rise and grow with SAP HANA. So you might have been hearing rise, rise, grow, grow, right? So rise is a term of transitioning from your legacy system or from your old SAP version, which is on premises. So SAP started this journey of trying to move people into the cloud in the early 20s and then COVID delayed it a little bit and they had originally plans to do it this by mid, mid 2020s and now it's moved on to 2027 for small and medium sector enterprise and for the large enterprises 2030. So you can actually transition from the on-premises legacy system to the cloud solution and there are two types of clouds. If it's a private cloud, uh, then you get the back-end system and then you get the front-end Fury extensions or the Fury Launchpad, which is by design graphical system. And then you can move from the on-premises to the cloud uh, using uh, data services or LTMC uh, kind of tools. The data is migrated, but the configuration also needs to be done. So that we have technical upgrade, we have functional upgrades. So those, both, both of those. So moving from legacy, to the private cloud is called Rise with SAP HANA. And SAP before had a system called Business One, but now they have a public cloud, which is a curtail, which, which is basically same as uh, the SAP all-in-one system, like a private cloud, but it's with a haircut. So, but this one, you will not get the backend system. You will get less uh, control over the database, the operating systems, the upgrades, uh, so on and so forth. But then this, has full functionality for small and medium sector enterprise. And this is called a public cloud. So moving from your old system to the private cloud is called rise to for SAP HANA or rise to SAP HANA. And then moving from the older system to a public cloud is called grow for SAP HANA, right? Now, both of these have price differentiation, some functional differentiation, some control, but more important is uh, you have better control with the private cloud. You do not have the same level of control in terms of database, operating system, upgrades, enhancements. And then there is another uh, system which was originally called process integration, PI or XI, and now it's called BTP, Business Technology Platform. So Business Technology Platform, most vendors and third parties will put the extensions, that means their in integration of their own products as well as SAP products as uh, APIs uh, or application programming interface. And that's available both for the private cloud and public cloud. It does not interfere with those, but BDP has their own upgrade cycle and management cycle. So there you go, guys. The Grow with SAP HANA is for public cloud and Rise with SAP HANA is for private cloud. I think right now, uh, most companies are looking at Rise with SAP HANA, and then smaller organizations are going to go with Grow with SAP HANA. From 20, uh, so the deadline as per Ignite 2024 for SME is 2027, and then after 2027, we are going to talk to the large Fortune 500 companies, and the deadline for them is 2030. Uh, they normally want to keep the deadline but things can change as uh, you know, customer demand supersedes everything else. So that's Rise with SAP HANA and Grow with SAP HANA, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe this channel. Uh, if you want to transition your career into SAP, uh, please reach out to us on the email careers, C-A-R-E-E-R-S at sapsol.com or you can also go to our website, www.hire rig.ai, highrig.ai, which allows you to transition and do projects and get placed on our client projects or external client projects, as well as if you want training, we have our certified or recognized, or I would say registered uh, institute, uh, which does 
uh, non-vocational programs and vocational programs. So professional programs are SAP train and you can reach them out on www.mlccollege.com. You will also see them in the description below. I do run a SAP practice company called Sapsol Technologies. I've spent 30 years plus in the SAP world, right from sales, pre-sales, configuration, and I'm certified SAP architect and a project management professional and a scrum master. So there you go, guys. Please like and subscribe this channel. And we'll talk to you very soon again. Thank you. This is Sam signing off. Thank you.